Hey folks, so today I was going to go through these boxes of jewelry. Um, I picked them up at auction, $25 for the three boxes. Uh, we're going to go through them now and we'll see what's in them, see how well I did. And uh, yeah, we'll just start with this one. Uh, don't think there's anything terribly special in this one. Let's see, we got some pins, uh, MS pin. Manitoba pin, uh, earrings, some junk earrings, yeah, pretty much junk, junk. Uh, there is a curling club pin that might be worth 10 bucks, something like that. Uh, but nothing else terribly special. Throw that back in there for now. We'll go through this little one here, a little more interesting. And we've got... Uh, Let's see, this one is, I thought maybe was sterling, but is not, um, unfortunately, just costume, kind of junk costume, um, Empire Hotel, don't know where that's from, two digit phone number though, and we've got another piece of costume there. Another one there, nothing special. Another older piece of costume, but again, nothing special. Uh, some of this junkier jewelry I'll just throw in a lot or a couple lots of uh, costume jewelry for parts and pieces and uh, craft purposes. Um, I do fairly well with them on Etsy, just bags of one pound to five pounds worth of jewelry. And let's see, there's this one. Nope, nothing special again. But you never know. So pick them up just in case. Oh, just another, that one, I don't know, that might be something, but I don't know what it is. Well, obviously it's earrings. There's a pair of them here. They're kind of funky. You'd think they might have some other value. They've kind of got that atomic mid-century modern look, don't they? But I don't know. Anything special, guys? You recognize that as some designer or anything like that? I don't know. Well, put them aside for the moment. We'll do a Google lens search. There's a little tie clip, a nice enameled one. Put that aside as well. Um, got some junk chain and... Uh, junk earring another kind of lower end costume there you got some uh, acrylic or lucite earrings nothing special as far as I know Chevy Corvette that's off a um, key fob so it had a leather back and everything so unfortunately that's not complete so that'll be just kind of junk. Um, I've got a pair of gold filled cufflinks by the looks of it. Yeah, gold filled. They're kind of rough. Uh, gold filled stuff does add up when gold prices are really high. Uh, some of the gold buyers start buying this stuff. So it's probably good to have an accumulation of it just in case. So we'll put those aside and i've got an earring nothing special enameled earring and we've got a georgina pin here i know a georgina a lady i've been buying stuff from i should just save that and give that to her yeah we'll keep that aside and some other oh somebody's paging me some other pins here more junk hmm kind of striking out a little bit aren't we still got a few boxes to go though so uh, I've got another clear lake pin that one's broken though so junk this one's kind of neat I think that's celluloid probably so we'll keep that one aside GEW and it's another gold filled piece I'm sure Oh, bonus! Oh, 10 karat gold, guys. 
We got some gold, finally. Good stuff. Gold, gold, gold. As far as I know. 10K, yeah. It's Mark 10K. Don't know if you can see it there, but it is Mark 10K inside. Good gold. That'll pay for the whole lot. Just that little cuff link, I bet. That's cool. That's good. Uh, this box is probably just going to go to the garbage because it's broken. Uh, we've got some some brass pins here for some purpose. Not sure what those are for, but they're just got a key for it. And that's it. I don't think there's anything else in there. It doesn't sound like it. Nothing hidden. Garbage. So, yeah. Because it is broken, by the way. It's not any good anymore. Another box. There we go. So, what do we got? Somebody was selling this for a dollar. And it was a pair of earrings. Are they gold? Oh, no, they're not. They're, they're costume guys. <laughs> didn't think they were uh, aluminum or something uh, junk jewelry again keep the little box for shipping purposes very handy to hang on to for shipping so yeah uh, we've got an Indian style cuff bracelet but it's just a souvenir so no big deal there and yeah I'm not getting terribly exciting here but there's a straight pin, but again, it's nothing. Got a faux diamond in there, so a piece of glass, probably. Uh, we've got a couple. Western Development Museum, Boomtown, Saskatoon. Keychains. Just put them in a, a junk bag for five bucks or something. Um, kind of a cheapy, real weird cheapy chain of some sort don't know what that's made of looks like aluminum foil or something or aluminum cans not sure junk as far as I know and a little box for shipping purposes there we go okay we've got a Sarah Coventry bracelet by the looks of it here um, I'll check on that seeing as it's mint boxed might have some some value there uh, I don't keep a lot of Sarah Coventry stuff. I don't have a lot of luck with it. But uh, there's a kind of a Jesus cross pendant. So made of, uh, looks like horseshoe nails or something. It's kind of funky, but really what kind of value does it have? Probably not a lot. I'm going to buckle. Okay, let's go through this little top one. We've got a, some celluloid flowers that are no of no real consequence unfortunately uh, we've got a little stick pin hat again let's see Brandon well I know somebody that's interested in Brandon stuff so oh there's another Brandon pin here so that'll pay for the lot again so between the gold and that I've probably doubled my money I would think um I've got a pendant here just brass with a on a brass chain so nada and zero three five six just a tie or not a tie bar a uh, brooch there aluminum probably there nothing special uh, we've got a 77 pendant, probably nothing there. I don't think it's sterling or anything. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think we're probably safe saying it's not. And let's see. Another brooch. Another big brooch again, another just costume brooch. If you see something that I'm missing... Let me know. I'm not going to proclaim to be an expert on costume jewelry. There could be some unmarked pieces here that are worth something that I don't know. Uh, that one's nice enough. I can probably put eight, ten bucks on it. I don't think it's it's Sherman or anything like that, but it is just a nice green 
rhinestone brooch. Got some sparkle to her. And let's see, pendant, which is nothing. Junk jewelry there. Town of Mendoza, Manitoba. That's just junk. Uh, we've got a watch band that is, let's see, I think probably gold filled. I think we just put that in the gold filled scrap portion. And we got another cufflink. Looks to be gold filled as well. As far as I know, I can't see any. Can't see any uh, marks on it saying otherwise. We're gonna go for well, gold plated. Yeah, it's not even filled. It's gold plated. Just really thin plating. Uh, another junk pin. Let's see. So another earring that is nothing. Double check the back. You never know. Might be some chunk of gold in there. A little butterfly pin. Nothing. Another brooch. Uh, I don't know if that's worth keeping or not. Hmm. 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 Yeah, no. Can't keep it all, guys. Uh, we've got a, let's see, curling club pin, Canadian Curling Hall of Fame pin. We'll just keep that separate. Some of the pins I bundle up, some of them I do sell individually. Uh, another Labatt Briar pin, curling. Oh, uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay, come on. Um, I'm thinking this is nothing. It's got a price of $10 on it, so it's probably nothing. Just a, a little enameled pendant. And we've got a little Labatt's Briar pendant. Put it with that pin. Oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. There we go. That is gold. <coughs> Oh, excuse me guys yeah I got me coughing there so I was so happy I was coughing to death here anyway this is uh, 14 karat gold as it turns out yeah so we got a nice 14 karat crescent moon pin cool very cool not sure what kind of weight that's got not a lot but uh, still that's gonna be probably 50 bucks worth of gold i would think something like that i don't know we'll, we'll find out i'll throw it up on the screen if i remember to weigh it so yeah that's good that's good well paid for uh we've got a little little girl in an umbrella again nothing not a signed pin or anything oh man <clears throat> excuse me a little enameled pin Nothing's particular. Uh, got an early pin here. It's older. Might clean up. Might have some value. We'll see. Uh, I've got an earring that's missing a piece. Junk. Uh, curling Canada pin. And a little stick pin. Nothing special. Not a butterfly pin. Nothing special. I like these bins of jewelry because you just never know what's in them. Like I said, we've got two pieces of gold so far, a 10 carat and a 14 carat piece. So we're doing well. Got a little uh, keychain. I usually bundle up keychains in bags and put them out for, you know, put five to 25 keychains in a box that, or in a bag and put five bucks on them uh, There's some keychains that are worth money. Uh, I have sold keychains for five ten fifteen hundred You know you never know But uh, anyway, these ones aren't anything special, but uh, neither is this earring I don't think let's just double check that one um, No, I don't think so Got a floral pin. Some of these flower pins, mm, anywhere from ten to twenty-five, thirty dollars. 
some of these so usually the colored ones are the ones that go for for um you know 15 20 dollars so that's all right there uh oh wouldn't that be good if that was gold but it is light there's nothing to it so that'll be plastic pretty sure that's nothing uh if that's miriam haskell or something like that folks let me know but i don't think it is and we've got another brooch again nothing special i don't think and another brooch oh hey i think did you see that folks you know what that was first i'll show you this though this is nothing again this is just a costume piece but that little thing there more gold <laughs> right on that is 10 carat so we got a little bit more 10 carat and like i said maybe what i'll do is throw the total of gold up on the screen that's good 10k though that that makes me happier that's cool uh there's a pin nothing so yeah we're having some hidden gems um that certainly isn't that's just a bracelet or or no necklace i guess you never know what's in these yeah we're doing good um here's another necklace i don't think that's anything particular it's pretty worn anyway don't think that's going to be anything any good piece of junk there from seagram's whiskey five star whiskey just junk um let's see we've got a earring again nothing special it's not gold just plated it's part of that watch band and we got a locomotive pin that one will probably be able to sell for five bucks or something like that I'll keep that another earring uh, another earring again nothing be nice if some of these earrings were solid gold they've got some good heft to them but unfortunately no um hmm, hmm, hmm. got a kind of a bracelet i guess is what that is definitely not gold or anything uh, the links usually gold jewelry the links are soldered solid these are just crimped together and it doesn't sound like gold at all just junk pretty sure yeah and we got a old cufflink but it's in pretty rough shape broken cufflink what else we got here what do we got in the back here got some goodies always check the back not sure what that is no nope. and earring that's nothing nothing special some of this stuff would be good for a flea market or something, but uh, I don't think uh, I'm going to be bothering putting jewelry out like that, you know, for a buck to five bucks kind of thing. It's just not worth it to me. Anyway, there's another box, and this box shall go to the thrift store. They can uh, they can hopefully sell it. It's a decent jewelry box, I would think. Although, yeah, I don't know. Well, it'll go to the thrift shop. Okay. Now, <clears throat> got a another big bin. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a hefty bag of Etsy junk jewelry. So here's another one. Okay, and this is why I bought this particular one. I spotted what looked like two watches in the pile they were positioned like so i thought it was two watches sometimes these are gold cases um one turned out not to be a watch it's a part of a bracelet and it's gold filled so it's not gold just gold filled as far as i know although yeah i know there's some green on it although green sometimes you get green just because there's skin kind of left on it so don't, if it's green, doesn't mean it's garbage. Double check it. Still worth checking. 
Uh, if it's got a lot of green on it, though, odds are it's brass with a gold plating. This one, I think, might be worth getting checked. Um, yeah, well, it looks suspiciously... Well, I don't know, guys. That one might be gold, actually. Because it is cut cut into... Uh, oh, does it open up or anything? What's going on here? It is heavy. It is actually quite heavy. That one might be worth checking because it's possible the marks were on another portion of the bracelet, although you'd think it would be on the back. Hmm. That one's worth checking. That one's definitely worth checking. If that's gold, that's probably $150 worth of gold or $200 worth of gold. Because it, it's got some good weight. Suspiciously good. Hmm. Might be good. We'll see. Could be good. That one, don't know. Anyway, uh, we've got a wristwatch. This is a kind of a transitional period wristwatch. So where the uh, you'll see the band went on either side and the 12 is positioned differently. So, and this one, unfortunately, I have looked at this before. It is gold filled. So the watch case is gold filled. Pretty rough condition. Um, not sure whether I'll sell it as a watch or not. Uh, the movement is 15 joules and it is running though. Might be worth the, uh, worth checking out or selling as it is. Maybe some watch aficionado will do some repairs on it. Well, maybe. And we've got another watch move it, just a junk, junk watch movement as far as I know. So, but I can still package it up with some other ones. And here's a watch. It's a Westfield. So stainless steel back. Odds are it's not gold. Um, but I'm going to pop it open just to see if... See... No, oh, I can't get it open with my fingernails. Okay, I'll have to open it up later. Pretty sure it's not gold. No, it's worn through. I don't know if you can tell, guys, but on the high spots, if you can spot silver underneath, then you know that it's just plated. So it's worn through the gold finish. Uh, Westfield, I don't know if that's really any of, of any consequence, but still, it'll be one I'll bundle up with some other watches and put 20 bucks on it or something with three or four watches in a bag. All right, um, let's see. What is this? Oh, interesting. Uh, I've got some wire. I don't know if that's gold wire. Could be, so I'll get it checked. But it was wrapped around this piece of uh, semi-precious stone, I guess. I don't know. Looks like jasper or jade or something. I'm really not up on my stones, guys. I'm sorry. But uh, might be something, so we'll set it aside. And we've got a Sarah Coventry, I think, yeah. Sarah Coventry pin. That one's actually kind of funky. It's got that mid-century modern look, so we're going to put that aside. And we've got, got uh, a pair of earrings. Those might be okay. I think I'll keep those. And we've got, oh, look at that. We've got a matching set. That's unusual. Normally I see just the pins. You rarely see the earrings that match. So that's a neat set. That's good. That's probably $40 there. Look at that. Or $35 anyway. Maybe $30 at the least. So that's a good, good buy there. So that's decent. Um, let's see, let's go. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure we've got some sterling silver with an amethyst, uh, amethyst, uh, heart-shaped stone in there. I'm positive that's sterling. Yeah, it's hallmarked and the, the pin is broken. So I think I will just scrap that one for the sterling because it is damage pretty bad still 
still there's some sterling there that's some money that's sterling's at I think about 80 cents a gram or so something like that uh, got a pair of run-of-the-mill cufflinks nothing special there um, hmm some acrylic earrings hmm don't know don't know guys those I'll double check those don't think they're anything but who knows we'll check them uh, I've got a another pin which is nothing I'm sure and let's see I've got a pair of earrings it's got a copyright on them but no um, no name well the rhinestone and in decent condition so we'll hang on to them this was an earring with that matched another one that was I passed on piece of a bracelet and here's a brooch again unmarked probably not of anything stupendous still in nice condition so probably a 10 15 dollar pin button uh, and we've got another pair of rhinestone earrings these ones are sherman all righty okay i'm betting those are 45 bucks or so maybe more sherman is really hot right now and going for really good money so those could be decent decent earrings uh, sherman tends to be just a better quality overall and uh the stones sparkle more and everything else so yeah Sherman good stuff all right good as gold or almost anyway so that's good I'm huh? doing well here doing very well uh, earrings that match that worn out necklace so nothing there um, more junk earrings another junk earring and a little Canadian. These are probably sterling or something, I would think. Well, maybe not. Yeah, they're not marked. They're cute, little Canadian. I'll just keep those for the heck of it. Because they've got the Canadian symbol on it there, the maple leaf. A uh, couple little pieces of, what is that, Alaska black diamond, they call that, something like that. And we've got a couple little red stones. Again, they're probably glass. Pretty sure they're not rubies. No, nope, they've got paint on the back there for the reflection purposes. All right, and then we got some uh, Lucite rose earrings. Those would be good for uh, 15 to $20 a, for the pair of them. Maybe a little more. We're doing pretty good here, guys. And we've got a watch fob. Um, but it's been broken by the looks of it. Um, I think this is supposed to solder onto the back of this. But it's gold filled. It's not gold. But uh, still, nice early piece. Might be worth getting repaired. I don't know. Um, I hate just getting rid of stuff like this. Um, yeah, I like the early stuff. So it could be something decent there. But, but uh, would have kept a little lady's watch on it. Anyway. Okay, delve into the stuff here. We've got a couple little papoose here. Don't think they're anything special. Ah. Okay, we've got a sterling ring. Oh, sterling. No, it's... It is gold. 10 karat gold. Again, we've got gold, guys. White gold and uh, the top is, is definitely 10 karat at least, apparently. So that's good. Go with the gold. What do we got in here? Uh, ta -da. okay um pretty sure that's not anything 
special says Annie on it, I think. Yeah. Whoops, Annie. So, yeah, it's plated. Gold filled, I would say. So, probably worth just scrapping, I guess, or putting with the scrap for later. Someday when gold goes pretty high. And this is almost looks like... Looks like, um... Just regular beads. Yeah, I was going to say Mardi Gras beads, but I don't think they're even that. Uh, just costume jewelry beads again. Beads, beads, beads. Maybe there's something mixed in yet. Let's see. Yeah, there could be something here yet. Um, spotting something on the bottom there. Oh, what's this stuff here? Right in the back. <clears throat> Little box. Junk. Um, let's see. Kind of marcasites in that one. Uh, just a junk jewelry one, I think, though. I'm not going to worry about that one. Although, hmm, marcasite. I don't know. It's just not a very good quality marcasite piece. Yeah, I'll put it aside. Why not? <clears throat> Some more beads 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 okay i don't know maybe these lucite beads sometimes could be something but i don't have any luck with them so and got a costume piece here that one might be worth we're checking that's eisner well that's yeah that's probably worth putting out piece of eisner costume yeah we'll keep that one we're doing pretty good here. We've got some good keepers. <clears throat> uh, these are glass, but they're all pretty gone green and yeah, I don't know, guys. That one's not looking good. Somebody will get something neat in the, their junk jewelry bin. Um, okay, we've got some faux faux. Um, <laughs> oyster no oysters faux pearls <laughs> faux oysters yeah okay so yeah they're just just paste or uh, glass or something of no consequence and some more dangled well these ones are not bad well keep those why not all right, um, we've got a another pin here for a hat, I assume, and some other costume. Oh, that one's missing a stone, so I think that's just going to go automatically in the junk stuff here. Let's hope there's another piece of Sherman in here, guys. That would be nice. Uh, there's a rhinestone pin looks pretty complete well, I'll put that in for five ten fifteen dollars something like that and we have this one here which is unmarked again but oh it's missing the main stone so nope get rid of that one and this one's not very good quality very tacky Oh, that's maybe what I've been coughing on. There's the little, little bits of feather here. Oh. <clears throat> uh, another kind of junk pin. And this one's not anything either. But it's intact. Might be worth 10 15 And some other, just got a sweater clip. And another thing. Okay. That's it, folks. Uh, there. No. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our other videos for antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching.